was intense. I just got the little stin passing by me. It was like back and forth there. Today I'm going to try to photograph shorebirds. Uh, it's a little bit early in the migration period, so yeah, I have seen a couple of birds. I've been here now for around a half an hour with my binoculars, just scouting out and see if we can see some birds around this beautiful beach here. So there's a lot of places where they can find food, so possibility for some uh, shorebirds are, uh, yeah, are there. So hopefully it's going to be good. Uh, the sun is out and no cloud at all on the skies. So hopefully I can get some golden light. I have to take my uh, tragopan blind with me, the ground blind. And I have never used that before on shorebirds. So I'm going to test that out and see if that is good. Uh, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be a good day with some pictures of shorebirds. The good thing about being early in the migration of the shorebirds, that is you have the larger chance for, for getting the adults in some of the breeding plumage. Uh, if you are much more later in the migration, the young birds come and they are not that uh, beautiful with the colors and uh, yeah. So hopefully uh, if I'm gonna get some birds, it's gonna be some beautiful adults. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's quite windy here. But I found some shorebirds. It's some uh, ring the, ringed plowers and some other snipes around here. So, but they are in like this uh, seaweed uh, and it's a lot of them and that's why the birds are coming here for the food you know, amongst those seaweed. But yeah, the, the problem is that it's not that too beautiful. Uh, walking amongst those uh, seaweeds uh, so hopefully I, I hope I hope I want to to have them on the like the beach it's uh, so much more beautiful to get them on a beach so hopefully uh, that would be the case oh, I can see some birds there so there's a bigger chance of getting birds in, in between the seaweeds but yeah I think I'm gonna gamble to put up my blind just uh, down at the, the beach here. position and I must say this is a little bit more comfortable than pulling a ghillie blanket or yeah, a camouflage blanket over me as I used to be doing. This is so much more comfortable and also I can check out how waterproof this uh, floor on this hide is 
because there is not that dry air on the sandbank. But yeah, here where I have placed myself now, I've checked a little bit out with my camera and there are beautiful beach here and with with a little bit uh, lower sun that can be really really nice so uh, hopefully there will come any birds in front of me here that would be awesome oh I just had the ringed plower it was two meters from me and I landed and I needed to freeze absolutely um, Five, ten minutes ago, there was another flock of flowers landing here, but they actually, I think they saw me through the mesh. So I have taken the uh, a new mesh to like cover uh, over the opening. So it's like double mesh. And hopefully that will be good. They did land here and was a little bit more aware, but looks like they all was accepting uh, that is blind here but oh this was really nice they are gone now they are so aware of everything so I'm not sure why they fly away but I had a couple of seconds with them and oh, really really nice it's a beautiful bird some flowers 50 100 meters in front of me so hopefully they work the, the way down here I'm feeding along the shore here there might be some birds just behind me just behind me is a pile of uh, seaweed strategy is to find a place where it's beautiful and hopefully the birds will come in that area instead of like going to an area where I know there is a lot bigger chance for the birds to come between the seagrass but I don't like the, the environment there so yeah I rather like taking a chance on, on this beautiful beautiful spot here and hopefully hopefully get lucky I have found out that having the 1.4 converter on my 500 together with my D500 is good on the shore birds so I'm using this to get that extra reach so having full opening with 5.6 and uh, I have ISO 640 and I'm getting around a thousand of a second There's another plower. Five, six meters from me.
was intense. I just got the little steam passing by me. It was like back and forth there. Oh, I love that little bird. I think I got some, I think I got some good shots. One thing is for sure, that I'm going to wash my blind when I go home. It's really muddy and sandy and smells really bad of the seaweed. But what a great day. I had an awesome experience with some really close encounters with flowers and a little synth. Oh, that was cool. And yeah, so this is just the beginning of a new series of some shorebird photography. It's one of the greatest uh, seasons for me, is the migration of the shorebirds. So yeah, you're definitely gonna see some more video like, videos like this. But I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.